Happy Tuesday. Time for Tidbit Tuesdays. So this week, I want to clear up a misunderstanding a lot of people have about the marketplace. I received a call from a client. Uh, they had done their taxes. And the message was, I did my taxes. I owed money back because I didn't realize, you know, what all my adjusted gross income was. They had income from different sources. So I'm guessing... I don't qualify for marketplace insurance anymore and I don't know what there is else out there. So um, I haven't gotten to speak to this client yet. I, I called them back, left a message, but th the important thing to remember is that anybody can have marketplace coverage. Anybody can have marketplace coverage. What matters is how much you pay for that coverage. So if you make too much money, you may not qualify for a subsidy, so you pay full price for the premium. If you make too little, you can still get the coverage, but you'll pay full price. So the amount that you pay depends on your income, household size, I've talked about this before, T tax, uh, the zip code, uh, household size, all those fun things, the cost of the premium. But what doesn't change is marketplace is available to everybody. You do not even have to put in your income. If you just want to buy insurance, buy insurance and not see if you qualify for the tax credit, you can do that and you just pay whatever the price is. So just because you don't qualify for a subsidy or you've had a subsidy and now you don't qualify for a subsidy does not mean you cannot have marketplace coverage. It just means you're going to pay something different for that same exact coverage. So waiting for the client to call me back so we can plug in uh, what their actual income is now because people get very confused by that even though I try to explain it. Knowing what your adjusted gross income is is very important. Whether you get it from a job, investments, passive income, all those things play into your adjusted gross income. And that's the total that we need to use for your premiums. So remember, everyone can have marketplace insurance. Yes, there are certain, only certain times you can enroll in that, but everyone can have it. Even Medicare people, if they don't want Medicare, which I don't know why you would do that, but if you don't want Medicare, you can buy marketplace. You're just going to pay for it. So, remember that if you're unsure, we just need to check to see if you still qualify for a subsidy, but every single person can sign up for marketplace coverage. So, until next week, peace out.